Oh, all right, so what's poppin' everybody? It's your man, Young Ida Costello, back again for another video. All right, you guys already know what time it is. If you guys see the camera looking like this, pointing at me, you guys already know what time it is. It's family time. It's Nashi, I'm just like, I'm tripping. It's Nashi time. It's Nashi clan time. It's time for us to get lit. And always, I wanna make sure that we are a close-knit family. I want you to guys, I want you guys to feel like y'all know me, you feel me? I want you guys to feel like I am your brother. So this is what we are going to do, and I'm about to hook you guys up. Go to my Instagram. My Instagram is Chris Takanashi, and the link will be in the description box down below. Go ahead, like this video. Um, Go to my Instagram, follow me, and then just send a screenshot of you liking and turning on post notifications. And then in my last video, you will go ahead and get a shout out. Now, I used to do this all the time before, just to make sure like, bro, I need to make sure that my clan messes with me as much as I mess with them, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm true to my word. If you, you know, like the video, go to my Instagram, follow me, and uh, send me a screenshot in the DM showing me that you did it, you gonna get a shout out in the next video. So, without further ado, it's time to get lit. Takanashi always keeps his word. All right, so what's poppin', everybody? It's your man, Young Ida Costello, back again with another video. Um, um, um excuse me. <laughs> with another banger. Now this video is going to be another lit one because this video is going to be the top five most underrated sneakers of 2017. Now you guys already know that 2017 is coming to a close now. There were some dope shoes that dropped in 2017. There were some trash shoes that dropped in 2017. Oh, yeah. We are definitely going to get into those. But there are some shoes that have its own specific category. I'm talking about shoes that dropped that were pretty much slept on. And let's go ahead and keep it real. A lot of the shoes that everybody slept on were shoes that I cop. Isn't that a coincidence? So what we're going to do is I made a top five countdown, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. So without further ado, sit back, relax, go to McDonald's and get you a Whopper because we... Hey, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If anybody's in the comments and they're like, mm, what does he mean when he says go to McDonald's and get him a Whopper, man? Look, dude. Yo, Nashi Clan, somebody help 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 somebody help that dude out. You feel me? Because somebody's gonna be in the comment section saying stuff like that. Help that man out, okay? But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. All right, so for number five, I have to give it to the Air Jordan 15 Stealth. Now, when it comes to this shoe, this is a shoe that is a re-retro of an older shoe that dropped a long time ago, I would say in 1999. Now, this is a shoe that when it comes to me picking it up, this was probably the second shoe that I picked up in 2017. I believe the first one was like these all black flying erasers. Those were dope also, but these are extremely dope. And when it comes to these shoes right here, I pretty much knew that they were going to be slept on because I mean, Number one, it's an Air Jordan in 2017. And you guys already know that Air Jordans in 2017, they're not really selling out like that. Let's go and keep it real. But when it comes to this shoe, I feel like this shoe is extremely dope. But I feel like this shoe was also slept on because it is a weird shoe. Like it has a weird makeup. It's a shoe that back then was so far ahead of its time. And it's a shoe that even now, I still believe doesn't get the respect that it deserves. Now, as you guys can see, the one thing that's probably a big turnoff about this shoe is that if you look at the tongue, the tongue kind of has like this crazy little, like the tongue pokes out, you know? And a lot of people might look at that and be like, nah, might not be my style. And also, if you look at this shoe, the shoe looks pretty bulky. But one thing that I will say about this shoe is, this is a shoe that I trust. You feel what I'm saying? I got a lot of shoes. Look around. You feel me? I got a lot of shoes. And I would say that in all of those shoes that I wear, this is probably one of the shoes that I throw on the most because this shoe is like a tank. It doesn't matter what you do in this shoe. It doesn't matter where you go in this shoe. If you're running, if you're walking, this shoe just cannot get beat up. This shoe just cannot get worn out pretty much. And one thing that I will say is that when it comes to the Air Jordan 15, number one, you can get this shoe for like $120, $140. And another thing that I will say about the Air Jordan 15 is I need another pair. This shoe is extremely dope. If you throw on like some Adidas T-Row pants and you just wear them like that, it'll almost look like the shoe is connected to the pant. Now that's something that I definitely think is dope. Like I did say, if you guys want a pair of these, this shoe is still available. But for number five, I had to give it to the Air Jordan 15 Stealth. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into number four. Now for number four, I have to give it to the Nike Flying Eraser Multicolored. Now, let's keep it real. This shoe should have sold out, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, looking at this shoe, this shoe will definitely make my top 20 countdown of pickups or top 10, whatever number I do. This shoe is definitely going to make it. You know why? 
because the shoe was multicolored. Okay, let's go and keep it real. Flashback to like 2014, 2015, or maybe even like 2013, right? If this shoe was to drop, it's selling out instantly, you feel me? It's selling out instantaneously. And I just feel like the fact that this shoe didn't sell out, I mean, I'm happy that I got a pair extremely easy. I mean, this was one of my bounce back shoes because around the time I picked up this shoe, good Lord, I was taking a lot of L's just in general, in life. My life was an L at the time. And this shoe definitely made me feel like a goat. Let's go ahead and keep it real. But I mean, look, look at the shoe. It's a multicolor shoe. You see the greens, you see the pinks, you see the turquoise, you see the lime green, you see what I'm talking about? It's crazy. It's, 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 it's insane in my opinion. That's why I think that this shoe is extremely dope and I feel like everybody should have a pair of Nike flying erasers in their closet, you know what I mean? So let's just say I was in a zombie apocalypse, right? And there was some shoe that I needed to throw on. This would be the shoe that I throw on. I wouldn't need an all camoed out or blacked out version. I need a pair like this, bro. A pair like this. You know, hmm. Do you think Instagram models can survive the zombie apocalypse? Cause what if you, you, you go to another group, right? And you meet, an Instagram model, and you got these bad boys on, I mean, you're not gonna be able to get edge ups, but you got on a crispy little headband. What's up? Easy work, easy money. You feel what I'm saying? But when it comes to this shoe right here, this shoe sat, this shoe was slept on heavily. And when it comes to this shoe, you could pretty much buy it at like $80 now, which is extremely crazy. Because when I bought this shoe, I paid $160 for it. And the fact that you could buy it for $80 almost aggravates me a little bit, but it is what it is. Now, when it comes to this shoe, one thing that I will tell you guys right now, make sure that you go a half size up. You feel what I'm saying? If you go your true size, these bad boys will suffocate your toes. These bad boys will destroy your toes. These bad boys will, will make you feel like your toes got frostbite and it'll make you feel like your toes are getting amputated at, at the same time of you wearing them. These are just facts. So if you guys are going to pick up this shoe, I recommend that you guys go a half size up. And also this shoe is pretty much anywhere available and you could probably still go in your finish line or Foot Locker right now and still find this shoe. But this was number four. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into number three. Okay, now for number three, I have to give it to the Air Jordan 8. Cool gray. Now this shoe right here, okay dude, okay, let's go ahead and keep it real. I rarely cop Jordans the day they come out, you feel me? I don't usually go buying Jordans like that anymore, you feel me? Just because $190 for a shoe, it's highway robbery, you feel what I'm saying? And then if you know the shoe's gonna sit, why would you pretty much go for these bad boys, you feel me? But this is one of the shoes that I picked up. I picked it up full price just because I wanted to get a review of it and I needed the shoe in my collection. It was all gray, it was cool, it was cute. But one thing that I will say is that I did not need to do any of the preparation that I made in getting the shoe. I mean, I sat there and I set my alarm for like 9.15 on the dot so that I would get to the Foot Locker or finish line early so I could go pick this shoe up. There was no need to do any of that. All you had to do was just get up at any time you wanted to get up and then pick these bad boys up. You don't need, like, this shoe was so slept on. This shoe was slept on so much, it's almost ridiculous. And I, I honestly don't know why, because this shoe is extremely dope, in my opinion. Now, if you guys look at it, it is pretty much an all gray Air Jordan 8 with that all over gray Nubuck suede. Now, nah, that is fire. Since when ever have you seen an all gray Nubuck suede cool gray 8? You feel what I'm saying? It looks like a cool gray 11 or a cool gray 9. You honestly don't ever see that. But one thing that this shoe does remind me of, it reminds me of the Air Jordan 8, the Ice Blues, the Ice Blue 8s. That's kind of one of my grail shoes. I need those shoes in my collection one day. But when it comes to this shoe right here, you kind of just can't go wrong. Now the Air Jordan 8 is also pretty much built like a tank. So it doesn't matter what you do in this shoe, the midsole of this shoe or just the shoe in general will still stay in good condition. But even though I just said that, one thing that I will say is, this shoe is a new buck suede. Get your rejuvenators, get your crep protects, get your Jason Mark. Whatever you need to keep this shoe protected, make sure you grab that and put it on this bad boy so you can have a long lasting shoe. Now, one thing that I will say is that this shoe retailed for a smooth $190, which is too much for a lot of people, too much for me. Let's go ahead and keep it real. But now you can pick this shoe up for a cool 120 to 140 and you can still pick it up now. Go to Foot Action, go to Foot Locker, go to Finish Line, go to any store you can pretty much find. Go on Twitter and go to kicksdeals.com and then you will definitely find this shoe for cheaper and then you'll be able to save you some money. But one thing that I will say when it comes to sizing, all right, let me go and make sure I know my size. Make sure that when you buy this shoe that you go true to size. You don't need to go up a size. You don't need to go down a size. Just go true to size and you will be good to go. 
look, dude, I ain't, bro, whatever she want to do is whatever she want to do. I'm minding my business. I'm doing my thing. I'm putting in work. I'm not really f***ing girls right now. And I got my, got some f***ing straight. All right, everybody, so for number two, I have to give it to the Nike Zoom Flight Bonafide. Okay, so everybody's probably going to look at this shoe and be like, dog, this shoe is extremely trash. I'm turning this video off right now, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm unsubscribing. I'm turning this video off right now. I hate you. I hate you, Chris. You feel what I'm saying? But wait, wait a minute, okay? This shoe was slept on heavy, and I know so. This shoe was slept on so hard that even I slept on this shoe. And I wanted this shoe. But I looked at the shoe and I thought, yeah, for like $160, nah, I'm gonna save my money. One thing about this shoe is this shoe is extremely dope. Now I know a lot of you guys is not gonna like it, but like I always say, when it comes to shoes, when it comes to clothes, when it comes to fashion, you wear what you want, you gotta be yourself, you gotta be you. So I feel like in my opinion, I think that these shoes are extremely dope. Now one thing that I do like about them is the pure fact that they don't come with laces. And I like the fact that it's almost like this long, big uh, space cadet boat. It almost looks like this huge, slim moon boot in a way. I don't know how something could be huge and slim at the same time, but it just makes sense to me. One thing that I think is also dope is this multicolored colorway. I like how you see a lot of lime greens in there, a lot of beiges, a lot of reds, purples, navy blues, and like light greens and dark greens and forest greens. I think that that definitely makes the shoe look extremely dope. Now, one thing about the Nike Bonafide too is I believe that this is a new model and it almost looks like they combined a flying it model with a Jason Kidd shoe. Now, if you guys look at the midsole, the midsole has like these little bubbles on the side of it, which might turn a lot of people off. But I feel like for me, hey dog, they make the shoe look so much better in my opinion. They make the shoe look stylish, bro. And then if you look at the back of the shoe, the back of the shoe has a zipper at like where you zip down. You can pretty much get your foot into the shoe. Maybe I need to pick up the shoe just to pick it up and see what's up. But then again, I think I'm too late. Am I too late? Hmm. Decisions. But for number two, I had to give it to the Nike Zoom Flight Bonafide. Definitely a dope shoe. Definitely a shoe that you could probably still find everywhere because nobody picked this shoe up. I heard nobody talking about this shoe. And whenever I did hear people talking about the shoe, everybody pretty much hated it. And that's crazy because I feel like this shoe is fire. You feel what I'm saying? So this was number two. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into number one. And um, hey dog, number one. It's either gonna get you mad, get you really triggered, or you're gonna agree with me. Okay, facts. All right, so for number one, I have to give it to the Air Jordan 6 All Star. Now, hold up. Wait a minute. I know what you guys are thinking right now. Chris, stop it. The, the, the All Star 6, stop it. Stop, stop it. Well, stop it. Wait a minute. Calm down, okay? C calm, stop. Oh, stop, stop. I, I know you wanna click off. Stop, stop, stop. Calm down, okay? Calm down. We're goats here, okay? We are a family here. Keep your composure, calm down, let me explain myself, okay? This shoe, you gotta keep it real. It's extremely dope. One thing that we do have to say also is, the main reason why this shoe didn't sell out, number one is because the price was $220, and Jordan Brand, what were you thinking? Like, you bad boys are tripping, boy. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, I don't know what y'all was that day, but y'all, y'all need to just chill out with that, okay? Don't ever do that again. For Air Jordan 6 All-Star, stop. But another reason why this shoe didn't get the attention that it deserved is because, number one, the price was crazy. Number two, they had so many pairs of this shoe. I'm saying they had so many pairs of these, like, let's just, like, they probably had like 10 million pairs of these bad boys just floating around. I'm saying you could buy these shoes right now. You feel what I'm saying? But let's just go ahead and keep it real. This shoe is dope. Like, believe it or not, no matter what you think, I, I think that this shoe is extremely dope. I love how this shoe kind of looks like Aliens versus Predator, and I love the pretty much space-themed, all-star Martian theme to it. I love how it's like this blue and then this purple and then this teal and then this black along with it going along with it then i love that purplish creamish midsole icy bottom at the bottom i think that that is extremely dope i love the lace tips how the lace tips are like multicolored and like this real i don't know like purplish green way i think that that's dope i think that that's something that's extremely cold in my opinion i love the tongue i just love i just pretty much love everything about this shoe now let's go ahead and keep it real i don't wear this shoe that much i've only worn the shoe maybe twice maybe two three times you know what next time i gotta go somewhere 
I'm gonna wear the shoe, okay? I might just wear the shoe with this fit that I got on, you feel me? And just break next that way, you feel what I'm saying? But this shoe is dope in my opinion. Now, when it comes to sizing, I recommend that you do go true to size. So like, if you are a size 10, go a size 10. Make sure you go your true size. Don't do nothing crazy for it. But this shoe is just extremely dope. I mean, there's pretty much not much you can say about this shoe. The shoe is pretty much just slept on because number one, I will admit as an all-star shoe, it's pretty underwhelming. They could have did a lot better, but it's just cold. I, that's pretty much it, bro. I mean, the shoe is just dope. If you guys want this shoe, you can still cop this shoe because the price definitely went down. But for number one, I definitely had to give it to the Air Jordan 6 all-star all right everybody so that's the end of this video i hope that you guys have enjoyed now what were your top five sneakers that you felt like everybody slept on what were your top five most underrated sneakers go ahead and put that in the comment section down below did you guys think that this list was cool did you guys think that this list was dope or did you guys think that this list was trash go ahead and put that in the comment section down below spam w spam l's i got more videos coming soon hey we spamming these bad boys you feel me nashi clan nashi season go ahead and be a goat spam that in the comment section down below if you rep it but without further ado all i gotta do is say hey your boy is back blessings 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 and uh chris out